Now look, let's look at a very very interesting properties of uh, numbers which are perfect numbers. So I'm very very interested in such uh, properties of numbers, such properties in in number theory, and these properties related to the factors. So let's just look at it, and uh, definitely it will develop your interest in factors, prime factors, and factorization. I guarantee. So for certain numbers, interestingly, if I add together all their factors, right? So I write down all the factors of the number and if i add them together that sum is equal to twice the number right interestingly and it is not true for one number it is true for several numbers so here is an example let's just write down c with an help of an example so in, let's just do prime factorization or not sorry not prime but just let's just do let's just list down all the factors of number 28 so of course we start with number 1 and we systematically are writing down all the factors of number 28 okay and of course 28 itself would come in this case see another thing that i have done here is that this uh, fact 28 the number 2 appears actually twice but i have just written down written it down once because i am only taking the unique factors so i am taking only the unique factors i am taking two only once so if you are if you are listing down the prime factors of 28 the 2 would come twice okay it is 1 2 2 and 7 okay it's not 1 1 would not be there it is not there in prime factorization the in prime factorization of number 28 it would it would appear as 2 2 and 7 but we have taken only 2 1 2 okay we have not taken the other 2 so we keep 2 only once that is what this unique actually means now if i total i sum all of these factors it comes out to be equal to 56 and this 56 is 2 times 28 and very very important and for numbers in which which such property which this property holds are known as perfect numbers now you would think that it is very very interesting why would we be interested in perfect numbers at all again we go back to ancient greeks where in the science in the, not really in the science but in astrology they were using this concept of perfect numbers to see that some of numbers are auspicious for certain things other numbers for auspic auspicious for other things similar to the concept of perfect numbers we had the concept of deficient numbers as well deficient number is one where the sum of unique factors is less than twice the number so here let's take an example of deficient number as well we take down the example of 14 so 14 again i list on all the unique factors okay we are listing only the unique factor which means that if a factor is appearing twice we only take it once that's what unique factor actually means so i am listing down all the factors of 14 and it's relatively simple uh, sorry 14 itself and then of course we will end there and if i total this this total comes out to be 24 and this total 24 is less than 2 times 14 2 times 14 is 28 so this 24 is less than 28 and therefore 14 is a deficient number so 28 we saw was a perfect number 14 is a deficient number the next and the final kind of numbers are abundant numbers and what does that mean it means that the sum of unique factors so i take all the unique factors the sum is greater than two times the number so that those are the abundant numbers and again as you can see these perfect numbers deficient number and abundant numbers they are important not mathematically but astrologically for certain things they found that deficient number was were important they were more auspicious so they will try to use that number in those ceremonies for other things they saw that abundant numbers were more auspicious so they will try to use abundant numbers for those ceremonies and of course perfect numbers were reserved for very very special ceremonies and they would try to use those many things in 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 the in their ceremonies itself let's take an example of uh, abundant number which is our favorite one of the favorite numbers which is number 12 again we list down all its factors see again in num in case of number 12 if i write down the prime factorization it would come out to be 2 2 3 but here we are listing only the unique factors so from these two twos I'll just pick one two and I'll put it here. From these three, of course, there is one three, so we'll just put it there, and then six would come, and then twelve itself would come. We missed, I missed one factor, which is two into two, four. Okay, so four is also a factor, and we'll list it down right here in the middle. 
So if I make a total of all of these factors, this again comes out to be 28. Now this total of all the factors is 28, which is of course greater than 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, so this 28 is greater than 24 and therefore we say that this number 12 is actually an abandoned number. Again, very, very interesting topic. <laughs>